This is H.P. Lovecraft. He's a known author during the 1920s, New England, USA. He's a big impact on a lot of modern horror, also, uh, mostly writing about uh, cosmic horrors, too large for us humans to understand, maybe uh, secondhand stories, not really writing what, what's there. How do, we, uh, how do we recreate what he's done? Oh. I've organized two LARPs, uh, just these two last years, Terra Incognita in 2009, uh, 2013, and Mare Incognitum in uh, 2014, just a few months back. Two different approaches uh, to create horror and insanity. can start with uh, Terra Incognita in just the other year. Uh, the basis for this LARP was uh, A Whisper in the Darkness, H.P. Uh, Lovecraft uh, novel. It's about the scientific expedition 1921 in, uh, to the north of Sweden uh, to, fi uh, to find the disappeared uh, Dr. Clift. Uh, these piece people were following leads, items, letters, diaries, etc to uh, figure out what happened to the doctor. Like for example, this uh, tentacle. Why, what is a tentacle doing in the middle of the forest? They're meeting the locals, the, the inbreds, uh, trying to just follow leads, fairly simple. In the, by the end, they meet the doctor, talk to him. It's a bit weird, but they manage with their, their mission. They find the doctor, they have a nice five-course dinner, and uh, then they go to bed. You get, the idea. you get the idea. At four o'clock in the morning, the participants are woken up by this horrible sounds out in the forest, some four or five hundred meters out, slowly walking, getting closer, circling the buildings, scratching on the roof, snorting, r r trying to shake the doors open, and then slowly disappearing again. We didn't need a big monster. We just used a sound rig and night vision to be able to walk around during the night. And that was enough for the participants to, in terror, cover under their, their bed covers and almost not wanting to go out even to go to the toilet. In the morning, everything seems to be okay, but the doctor is gone, only his face still left in place. Just a few months back, we made a LARP called Mare Incognitum. It's uh, based loosely on uh, two novels, uh, Shadow Over Innsmouth and the, uh, the Call of Cthulhu, probably H.P. Lovecraft's most well-known um, piece of work. It's about the last transport out of Kirkenes before the winter storms in 1952, as you can see on the, on the clothing. There's a mixed group of uh, scientists, workers, high society, journalists, doctors, etc., meeting up uh, on this uh, ship trying to get out. Uh, some of you probably know the ship is the same ship as Monitor Celestra. We were able to reuse the location. How did we try to recreate the horror in this LARP? We had quite a lot of crew, some of them also part of the crew on the last game. But quite a lot of crew trying to steer the, the participants. We had quite a lot of normalcy during the start of the game. Just a, a bunch of people, some know each other, some doesn't, trying to get along for a quite tedious trip over the seas. We had sounds and lights. Uh, the storms outside, the engine noise, etc. We also had quite a lot of props, same kind of props as 
usually, uh, usually used during LARP, letters, diaries. Uh, we had the typical Lovecraftian statuette. Just to get the participants to get the feeling for what the story is about. We added some uncertainty with NPCs, part of the science, science team that all of a sudden was gone, only leaving blood and slime after him. During the LARP, it's only a few hours to show the deeper insanity, we also had some of the crew getting uh, maked, trying to work for the, um, for the feeling that they're getting more and more insane. Using radio uh, in our radio room, that they could talk, the participants could talk to the, uh, to the Lutz in, in Kirkenes, talk, talk to other boats, but also get the feeling if they're sitting by themselves, uh, talking to ghosts, maybe talking to themselves. We used quite a lot of triggers in this game, which was, if you compare it with the first game, that was an actual monster. This was more about the creeping insanity. So we had uh, actual ghosts, if you see the, the person in the hood, knowing all the secret, the dirty secrets of the participants, trying to whisper to them, slowly driving them insane. Also have triggers for the participants, like instructions, written notes for them. If this happens, you can act out in this way, slowly getting them further down the spiral of insanity. By the end of the LARP, we forced the participants, the players, to make a choice. Were they going to go with the insane crew members to join some sort of cult? Or were they going to try to solve the situation with the solution to sacrifice or not sacrifice? The end of the LARP ended with a short ritual trying to show the insanity for the participants. We used sounds, we had a fairly good sound system. We used lights, and strobes, etc. And we used monsters. These were not shown very long time. <laughs> so this is some ways to try to get participants in LARPs to get a feel for Lovecraftian horror. And Lovecraft and his ilk have quite a huge, quite a lot of books to choose from if you're choosing to do a book adaptions. So that's my tip for the day. Thank you. <laughs>